Detroit Urban Survival Training. Right now, we want to address a recently released viral video. And this video is so silly. This individual came to our school uh, separately with another person. They're both jujitsu students. One was honest and said he was, and the other one acted like he wasn't, said he was an engineer. And he was very uh, uh, timid and has never studied martial arts before. And I have no idea why he does that because nine out of 10 people that come to our facility are either an instructor from another martial art, or a competitor, or have taken martial arts. They love our training. So anyway, the other individual was, was honest. Uh, he did resist some, and he found out that that does not work out well without getting hurt. But this individual tried to resist right before this gun disarm, and his whimpering uh, and holding his wrist uh, showed me that you know he's, he's susceptible to pain and a high degree of, of discomfort from a very simple technique. It was a Z-lock. I was not trying to hurt him. I was trying to simply train him. And he Boy, address this shit. So the technique address this shit. He resisted when there's no need to resist. You can just feel the discomfort and go with it. Uh, so he, you know, took it personal apparently, and uh, got up and was complaining about this pain in his wrist. And he's, you know, hurt and everything. And I thought, well, you know, let me just take it easy. So let's switch to gun disarms. Back to gun. Bro, what really happened was he made a. This guy made you look like a fucking clown because the shit that you have been showing online, some clown shit gonna get motherfuckers killed, man. I know that it's under the guise of something great and nice, but it's like, bro, come on, man. And so what happened was, man, we gotta watch the other video. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna finish this video and I'm gonna show y'all the other video what happened, man. I'm gonna show y'all the other video what happened. Gun disarms. We'd already been doing gun disarms, so he already knows what we're going to do. But he's already been watching the videos before he came here anyway. And what's interesting is, instead of focusing on shooting uh, as a violent criminal would do, he focuses on limp wristing and running away as I go to disarm the weapon. No, and no, you're fucking stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. What the fuck? I hope y'all don't listen to this motherfucker, bro. This shit is so fucking stupid. This guy, what what this guy is doing right now, this shit of him pulling back, what the fuck you think a real person with a gun is going to do? What the fuck? You think the person with a gun that's coming, premeditated the shit in his head, is going to let you take his gun, the very thing that gives him power in the whole situation? Bro, this is some clown shit. This dude is a fucking clown. Clown. Oh my God. Are you fucking kidding me? Where's my gun at? What the fuck? You better. If I got a gun pointed at you. I know that this is the thing that's got the power. Everyone knows that this is the thing that's got the power. Why in the fuck would I let you get close enough to even grab it? I'm going to assume that you're going to want to grab the gun already if I'm robbing you. So I'm going to pull back if you're doing that. And I know that I'm going to shoot your ass. He got turned into a clown, bro. And he's trying to defend this shit. He's trying to make, he trying to make this dude look bad because... He is a fucking clown. Bad. All bad. When I came to disarm the weapon, because uh, we have a room full of, of students in the background, which includes children, uh, we did not want to rush forward uh, because, number one, you he did hit people in the room. But also, this individual but you was did. just complaining Dude, about why'd you grab him in the neck? So I was trying to be nice to him. No, you so wasn't. I was going to show just the gun disarm, not what we would do in real You're life in this situation, uh, which is to go forward always. We always attack our attacker. And so in this case, I stayed still, which you can see in the video. Did not and he would have got fucked up. And I reached up. He took advantage of the fact that I didn't go forward and snatched it back. And then he starts shooting. He was off to the side as well. First round wasn't even close to me. Uh, bro, but yes, it was. It's right there, bro. That it doesn't matter if you do get shot. What matters is that you drive on, that you fight to survive. Bro! You stay in the fight. You cannot just give up your life just because someone shot you. And I care. Now, I agree with that. that. I agree what he does understand is that if you chop the video before the second end of that bro, demo, you can stop. actually make it look You like only get one chance, dog. What the fuck? <laughs> bro, there's no point. You get one chance. If you fuck up one time, it's going to be some major consequences, man. 
In this situation, it ain't going to be like, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I didn't properly do the disarming technique from Detroit Urban Survival. Please, let's reset the robbery. I'm going to be in the same spot here in this chair. Go back to the front door. Let's redo this because, like, I, I just, you know, I wasn't... I was rushing forward, but you shouldn't have pulled back. That's not what happened. So, like, let's reset this because I don't want to die, you know? So, um, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God. People, this this world is just absolutely fantastic to me. He was victorious when, in fact, he lost that gun and he was taken down. Oh, so bro. That's <laughs> What's really going to happen in a situation where you have to defend your life? You're going to attack the attacker. You have to take the weapon. And if they're just going to take something from you, simply give it to them. You don't have to take uh, <laughs> a gun from them if they're not going to kill you with the gun. And it's up to you to decide whether you trust them or not. So what we want to do is make sure that you're the one that makes decisions. Violent criminals should never decide what for you or your family. fucking clown, you bro. That shit is so funny to me. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Hold on, let's see, because there's some other ones. Where, where that? Where that? No, where that? No, shit is so funny to me. So this, this is this is another part. This is the second part that will happen. This is what he's talking about. After the Asian dude made him look like a fucking clown, he wanted. He proceeded to hurt him. He proceeded to hurt him because he knew what was happening. <laughs> He said, move a little bit slower so I can wait for the I'm not ready for treatment. Come on, you come here. Are you here? That's the first thing I thought. You do here. One, two, in the eyes, and then three. If you got strong, you need to keep holding because you're going against the muscle. And I'll grab wrist. Grab hard. Take the three up from here. Yeah. And control. Yeah. So level threat. So three levels. And respond is a threat way. Fighting is not one of them. Escape, control, and one That's all there is. So escape is the first one. Second one is called control. Come here. <laughs> so here you talk to the guy and say, sir, please don't touch me. Okay? So can you, move, can you move the other hand? The other hand? Yeah, can you use the other hand? Now? That hand? No. No, the other one. Oh, that? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I can definitely yeah. yeah, no, I mean, what's this? So, question is, well, okay, right? here's the deal. This guy knows some good shit. He knows something. Like, this is a very good technique. The issue comes in his fucking character. Why? Can't people just be real? This is such an issue. It's so hard for people to just be real and honest. Just be real, man. Just be like, bro, this ain't going to work in every situation, but God damn it, this is better than nothing, okay? What happened, this is what he should have did. I want to address this viral video, you guys. This is, this is what should have happened. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Here's the clip. Here's the gun. Nothing in the chamber. Hold on. Ugh, nothing in the chamber, as you can see. So, this is what he should have did. I know he pointed the gun at me, you guys. He would have killed me in that instance. I would have got shot in that instance. The techniques that I'm trying to teach you guys, not all of them are always going to work. There's always a degree of something of going bad. And in that instance right there, what he did show... <clears throat> is more of a realistic approach. So you still attack like he did say, but it's like, bro, stop trying to defend it, man. He made you look like a clown. He under, he he saw, he he exposed a weak point in one of your fucking one. Not every single one of your fucking techniques are wrong. He exposed a weakness, a very big weakness in one of your techniques that's supposed to give you survival. And he's over here trying to defend it. He's over here trying to not only defend it, but he's trying to excuse it. He's trying to cover it up. And he's trying to attack the fucking person that actually did the shit, bro. Like, it's just it's just sad to me, in my opinion, man. Like, bro, if you're trying to defend yourself, do it. But be honorable about it. God damn, motherfuckers just can't be real these days.
But anyways, man, that's it.